Hello and welcome to this special broadcast. We are coming to you from the headquarters of Maruti Suzuki on a day just as we had reported last week. The company has announced a major corporate transformation strategy, the likes that have not been undertaken by any Indian automobile manufacturer before. To talk more about that, I'm delighted now to be joined by the managing director and CEO of the company, Kenichi Ayukawa. Yes, Ayukawa san, thank you very much. Many thanks for joining us. Thank this you. is yet another bold experiment that we're seeing by Maruti Suzuki under your leadership. Okay. Tell me a little about, about the thinking behind this. Why okay. have you done this? I think that we are already starting a channel in 2015 to set up the new uh, next channel. Through that, we are getting a lot of response, etc., and customer. We are starting at the remain the channel. We are calling it the, the Marit Suzuki channel. That is, uh, we try to uh, some change for to that uh, next uh, innovation, and we are expecting that you know to creating customer delight concept to uh, develop in that the new uh, Maruti Suzuki channel. Okay, so this will be across your existing Maruti regular yeah. channels. Then you are setting up for the first time Nexa, exclusive right, right. Nexa service center and even, even true value yeah. across all the three pillars you yes, will discuss. I think it, of course that uh, oh, Nexa uh, channel, we are starting at the uh, sales channel first and then uh, two years have passed, we have to start in preparation that the Nexa service uh, chan uh, channel. Mm -hmm. It is a new challenge for us but uh, cu customers are expecting that kind of way, that's why we are starting that. And, and true value itself, we try to uh, invite a new customer to mm -hmm. our, you know, uh, mm -hmm. brand, right. and then to the, the customer, the first buyer of the car, that uh, they are expecting to sell the uh, second-hand car. Okay. That's why we provided a very transparency system to the those customer, to customer, right. and then enjoy that uh, product. Okay. And we try to invite the next time to the new car buyer. Okay, because these are going to be completely new showrooms. Yes. The whole customer experience you're yes. going to change altogether. Is it also stemming from the fact that somewhere you felt, you know, the millennials mm -hmm. uh, were sort of not willing to really buy a Maruti product. Mm -hmm. They would perhaps go in for a, com you know, go in for competition. And maybe that is something that you may have stumbled upon in your market research, uh -huh. which is what you're now hoping to achieve with this, with this new kind uh, of a setup. I think that, that uh, even though that you said that the young generation people to come out at uh, our sales and the service or at the true value uh, network, they will enjoy uh, to uh, stay there and uh, looking at the car, look at the car, also uh, talking with the, 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 our people. Those kind of environment, I want to, we want to establish that. That is the purpose of that, the, you know, the new world is kind of the, you know, arrangement. You talked about the Nexa experiment that you had done yeah. in 2015 and that has worked well. So that is the first time perhaps you would have, you know, you would have realized that customers were willing to go in for more premium products yeah. by Maruti Suzuki. Yeah, yeah. That was an important learning, right, right for Maruti? Also, they are, you know, through that the Nexa, uh, we implement a new system and that uh, whether that the customer accepted that for the digital system, the without paper, etc. Also, visual information, etc. Those kind of approaches that the customer very much accepted. That's why we like this spreading those kind of system to other functions. That is a, one of the challenge for us. Mm -hmm. So even your regular Maruti channels and non-Nexa channels mm -hmm. is being upgraded. So in yes. a sense, yes. brand Maruti Suzuki right. is going upscale, so yes. to speak. That is our expectation to that the how day by day we try to enhance our business quality and the level. Through those kind of uh, project, I expect in the all over the, the March channel, uh, uh, all, all uh, much business will be accepted the you know, uh, customer to the uh, higher level. Mm -hmm. So tell me, uh, you know, in terms of uh, what this really means now, mm -hmm. will there is, will there be an impact also on the kind of products Maruti is going to launch? Because, uh, you know, since you're also upgrading your existing Maruti mm -hmm. channel. So will focus of Maruti now be on sort of, you know, offering more premium uh, uh, products to the customers? I think that the, as far as that the, we starting at the, the business uh, 35 years ago, our uh, company, the philosophy is uh, providing the good pro product for that, you know, to, uh, with uh, the affordable price. It's a uh, Maruti brand car, is that the, in a sense, the people's car. Mm -hmm. We are focusing on those people, those customers. That's the mainstream. Of course, we have the 15 that the model right now. Mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, each one that are very important that uh, a, a different type of customer we try to satisfy all the people okay uh, because you know when we you know when we look at the uh, you know your numbers in of your of your entry level cars mm -hmm. which are primarily yeah, alto yeah. and wagonart we seen the percentage of alto wagonart sale to your overall volumes yeah. declining it was 2015 2016 mm -hmm. first quarter it was 34.3% mm -hmm. april to june first quarter this year it's 28% mm -hmm. so is this also maruti sort of thinking long term that entry level cars share is going to go down that is the reason why you need to uh, move up scale no no, no. i i think it that we have that the expanding at the, the range of the customer Uh, even though that you said that uh, you know percentage about the uh, entry car that dropping but the actual number is not so much decline right we have those kind of segment of customer we have to uh, satisfy those people that's why we have to continue three to developing those product also mm -hmm. and also customer demand that that is a bit changing at that uh, their uh, indian customer they expecting a higher level car that's why we providing a new type of car at that through that uh, next or something like that mm -hmm. that we with the new challenge uh, but uh, anyway in order to satisfy those customers we have to focusing very much focusing man so so maruti is not going to move away in any way from I mean, your entry level but uh, yes, yes you're not going to we move away that. you're keeping that tell me now with this sort of a massive upgrade that you're doing also the regular channel mm -hmm. nexa was when you came up with nexa it was supposed to be premium mm -hmm. it had a very distinct mm -hmm. brand uh, uh, you know identity mm -hmm. now with your existing maruti channels also being upgraded there will be i mean you're almost bridging the gap then right between nexa and your regular channels is that also the thinking i i think it you know, of course that the, the, the under even though nexa is the existing maruti suzuki channel it is that under one with umbrella but the maruti suzuki we ourselves that that to uh, developing at the total uh, quality at the level uh, for the more higher level that could be that uh, make that the customer happy and the fun and uh, uh, enjoying it uh, you know uh, them and uh, them and then to, to satisfy that, that our facility that is very important we try to invite a lot of customer to our facility okay what do you think will be the you know the quantifiable impact on volume sales volumes now mm -hmm. because of doing something like this because your dealers will be putting in the money it's not exactly maruti you're not investing your dealers are going to invest so they will of course want to know what is in it for them as far as that uh, we mentioned already that uh, we are targeting a 20 in 2020 the uh, 2 million something uh, sales mm -hmm. in order to achieve those kind of goal uh, target i think we have to develop ourselves that is a part of this kind of project a part of that you know okay so therefore you're seeing uh, as part of that uh, you know 20 uh, 2020 target that you have 2 million and you've already announced you'll be mm. uh, launching yeah, uh, 15 yeah, yeah. models right. uh, uh, so most of the models we're going to see you know again maruti you know packing in a lot like technologically very yeah. advanced models uh, uh, yes. so we can expect that from the company we we try to continue though the kind of thing that, that uh, we try to future model should be implemented a new technology something like that mm -hmm. and people expecting uh, people are dem uh, a customer is very much demanded you know mm -hmm. that's why the, even though current uh, base model customer does not satisfy that uh, without a new technology something like that mm -hmm. also we have to consider into the environment friendly vehicle and that the fuel efficiency improvement mm -hmm. and that uh, those kind of thing after we have to absolutely they implement those kind of new mm -hmm, model mm -hmm. tell me a little bit uh, are you covered san you know when uh, uh, when when you all had announced that suzuki would be developing the gujarat plant and you all had said that is going to free up a lot of mm -hmm. money for you yeah. cash reserves and a lot of that is going to go into actually enhancing uh, you know the marketing increasing the retail outlets so uh, will any will, will you be making any investment as you know uh, as part of this First of all, uh, as far as the we, uh, I have I have concern that how we're gonna satisfy the customer. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, that the arrangement that the, you know the uh, touch point, mm -hmm. we have to increase further more. Right now we have that three thousand that the service uh, service outlet and two thousand that the dealer sales outlet. But uh, we expect in the at least the dealer uh, sales outlet to the reaching of the three thousand, that the service outlet that the reaching of five thousand, that uh, next few years. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, we try to expanding because I expect in any places people easily find out multi outlet. Mm -hmm. That is a great thing for very convenient for customer. Mm -hmm. That kind of arrangement could be necessary. Mm -hmm. 
you have 2000 over 2000 regular maruti channels so yes. all of them will be upgraded gradually i hope hope really yeah. gradually they do too so yeah. how many years do you think will this exercise take i think that the, the, within a few years uh, we try to achieve that